Hey, how is everyone doing? I know I haven't done a video in a very, very long time. Um, as far as my fasting, I haven't really been fasting because, um, as you know, the main one of the main reasons I was water fasting was because I wanted to increase my chance of fertility because I am 44 years old and the society says that the older you get, the harder it is for you to conceive because your eggs are older and things like that. So um, the reason is because I'm, even though I wholeheartedly believe in fasting, I'm nervous about fasting um, in early stages of pregnancy in case I do conceive. I mean, I feel like you you can um, fast or intermittent fast and do those types of things, but I'm just nervous that if I have conceived, I don't want to do any damage um, to my baby. So. That's the thing. I don't. Um, I took a pregnancy test last Sunday, um, which was the um, third. It came back negative, but as of today, I still don't have a period. So I don't know if I conceived. I don't know if I haven't conceived, but I just um, don't want to risk it or anything like that. Like my heart wants to do fast because I'm addicted to it. I'm addicted to the feeling. I love the way I feel, but it's just. Um, that mind and the brainwashing of what's been told to us of that you need to give your baby all the nutrients and things like that, that plays in my head too. And I, you know, I could, would never be able to forgive myself if I caused some damage. Like I think I would fast some, but not the extent of I was fasting before, like going five, 10, 12 days with nothing. So I think I might do like fruits and um, maybe a fruit fast or lots of liquids things like that but going days and days without i don't know even though i have a lot of fat on my body and i feel like the baby can survive on that i just because there's not much research on it i'm not sure if i want to go that route or not so i'm pretty much holding out to see if my period comes and um if it comes then i will start fasting again if it doesn't come i guess i'll be doing fruits and juices i just want to see it i, I really wanted to lose this weight before i conceived but um, who knows what's going on. Um, as of today, I am a week late. Um, I haven't tested again because I figured, hey, I'll, you know, last Sunday was negative. Like, I just wait, wait it out. And so every day I'm like looking like, do I see it? Do I see it? Do I see it? And still, no period. So I was only late one time, and that was 20 years ago when I conceived my son. And my son will be 20 in like 10 days. <laughs> so, um his birthday is March. No, eight days. His birthday is March 18th because today's 11th. Oh, no, seven days. His birthday is a week from today. So I just need to figure it out and figure out what's going on and just see what's going on. So I'm just waiting it out and um, I'll keep y'all updated. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hard to, um, it's been hard lately eating right or whatever because I tend to when I'm not eating and I'm fasting, it's, that's the one of the benefits that I like about fasting. You don't really don't have to think about what you're eating. It's just on the refeed days. So lately I haven't been knowing what to eat. It's just so hard. So I think if I stick with the fruits and veggies, I'll feel more confident with that because I know that I'm not doing that much detriment and my body um, can use those nutrients. Like, you know, when you're um, cleaned out and if you're doing fruit only, your body will absorb all um, that is needed from the fruit that you intake and take the nutrients out of the fruit. So I think that's what I'm kind of going to do. Um, cause I just, def I don't want to risk any major things like eclampsia and those things. I figure if I stick with mainly with fruits, then my body will get what I need. So we'll see. I'll give an update. Um, and I guess a week or so to see what's going on. So I don't, I don't have no idea what's going on with my body right now. So all right, I have a happy Monday, and I hope all is well.